Santa is Coming to West Virginia, written by Steve Smallman, illustrated by Robert Dunn and Stefano Azalin. Well, boomed Santa, have all the children from West Virginia been good this year? Well, uh, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy shop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of West Virginia had sent him. Mostly? asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses. Yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get their presents loaded up. Even though the sack of presents was really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it into Santa's sleigh, though how they managed to fit such a big sack into one little sleigh, even they didn't know. But somehow they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Er, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. Missing? Which reindeer is missing? asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him, but... Just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been? asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped in the coordinates for West Virginia. This will guide us to West Virginia in no time. Crunch, crunch, crunch. With the flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went racing through the sky. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the mountain state. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On they flew in the wintry air, crossing over Canada. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above the Great Lakes and on over Ohio. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. They had just crossed the Ohio River when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa nav in a bossy lady's voice. Keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. Then, through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint, ringing sound. Ding dong! He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose, but he had his head down. Red nose? I wonder who that could be. Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa in his sleigh behind him. Whoa! cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then, to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the Sacred Heart Co-Cathedral in Charleston. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. Then suddenly, crunch. The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa nav, unhelpfully. Finally, when the snow had died down and the clouds parted, Santa discovered exactly where they were, stuck right at the very top of the Christmas tree near West Virginia Capitol Complex. Everybody, pull! 
The reindeer pulled with all their might until, at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the Christmas tree and Santa steered them safely over the Clay Center and the Kanawha Public Library, along the Kanawha River, past South Charleston, above Dunbar, and down into Shawnee Park. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had all been jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted out the presents into order again. All right, said Santa. Thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming! Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over West Virginia, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go, which was pretty fast for a chubby fellow. There were big chimneys in Clarksburg and small chimneys in Beckley. He squeezed down thin chimneys in Wareton and plummeted down fat chimneys in Parkersburg. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all, and it looked like the children in West Virginia were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry, too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his snack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of West Virginia had left out a large plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard, and popped the carrots into his sack. From Huntington to Morgantown, from Martinsburg to Lewisburg, from Wheeling to Eleanor, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in West Virginia. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Allison, Anna, Arabella, Archie, Ashley. The list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibble. Zibble? That must be a spelling mistake, surely. Finally, Santa had delivered the last present on his long West Virginia list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight, and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, petting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose. But the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to the North Pole, and soon they were speeding along New River Gorge, over Babcock State Park, past Harper's Ferry, and out along the East Coast through the crisp, starry night. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, West Virginia.